Good afternoon and welcome to the Catholic community of St. Francis Xavier of Hunt Valley, Maryland. As we come together to celebrate Memorial Day uh, weekend, we remember the many men and women in our armed services who have sacrificed their lives for the protection of our country and to defend democracy and freedom. And also we remember those men and women too who are now in the armed services uh, uh, as we celebrate this Memorial Day. So let us begin as we begin all things in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Coming together to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we turn to our good God acknowledging our sinfulness and seeking reconciliation with God and our neighbor. Lord Jesus, who ascended into heaven and are seated at the right hand of the Father, the Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, who come to us in word and sacrament, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring us your gift of the Spirit, the Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray together. May the power of the Holy Spirit come to us, we pray, O oh Lord, that we may keep your will faithfully in mind and express it and express it in a devout way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And let us all now listen attentively to the Word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Apollos was in Corinth, Paul traveled through the interior of the country and down to Ephesus where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They answered him, We have never heard that there is a Holy Spirit. He said, How are you baptized? They replied, with the baptism of John. Paul then said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them. And they spoke in tongues and prophesied, although there were about tw twelve men. They entered the synagogue and for three months debated boldly with persuasive arguments about the kingdom of God. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. God arises, his enemies are scattered. And those who hate and flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so, they, so are they driven, as, as wax melts before the fire. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. But the just rejoice and exult before God. They are glad and rejoice. Sing to God, chant praise to his name, whose name is the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. The father of orphans and a defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners to prosperity. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God, Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to John. The disciples said to Jesus, Now you are talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and, you, and, and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you 
came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived, when each of you will be scattered to his own home, and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you this, so yet that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage. I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord. We don't know what we don't know. The disciples in Ephesus were created into the way of Jesus, yet they live as though they have been. Only when Paul comes and speaks to them about baptism in the Holy Spirit, do the, do, uh, th- that they now learn that there is more. They begin to speak in tongues and prophesy. Surely gifts the mar- that mark a new and awareness and direction in their Christian practice. Like the disciples in Ephesus, too often we live in a state of not knowing what we should know. Who is the Paul in our lives who will come to anoint us with the Spirit? It could come from reading the Scriptures or listening to the Word of God through the lectionary readings, a spark from a homily, or an insight through personal reflection might inspire an awareness of our faith that is new to us, enlivening to us. Our day-to-day living is filled with opportunities to see and know God in new and different ways. For example, in Luke's Gospel, the disciples on the road to Emmaus, they encounter Jesus, who interprets scriptures before them before they break bread together. And then Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. And like those disciples in Ephesus, we do not know what we do not know until we are brought to a new level in our faith. Then our eyes will be open, and Jesus is made known to us in a new and different way. And that opportunity comes to us in our daily encounters in life. When we experience Jesus in our friends, in our neighbors, strangers, all of a sudden there's a new encounter, and we we come to see more clearly Our eyes are open to the Jesus who is present in our midst. Let us now bring our petitions to God who never leaves us. For the church, may the Lord raise up holy men and women to lead and teach in her name, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all nations of the world and for those who endeavor to lead them in truth and justice, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who cannot practice their religion openly, may God grant them fortitude. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may the Holy Spirit help us grow ever deeper in our faith in God and our love for each other. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick members of our parish family, that God send his healing love upon them, and especially those who are suffering from the coronavirus, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For men and women in our parish to respond to God's call to ministry in the church, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. 
For those who have died, may they rest in the, in, in the peace and light of Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God of all creation, hear our prayers and answer them in your goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread and wine to offer. Fruit of the earth and fruit of the vine may become for us our spiritual food and drink. Blessed be God forever. May this unblemished sacrifice purify us, O Lord, and impart to our minds the force of grace from on high. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We have lifted them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, it entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his friends, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to you that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all who minister in your church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles. And all the saints that have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray together for the coming of God's kingdom. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, where you live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the risen and ascended Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And let us pray together our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you, Amen. On this Memorial Day weekend, let us pray our prayer to Mary Immaculate, Patroness of the United States. Blessed Mother Mary, we turn to you in prayer for all the people in these United States. We again place ourselves in your care in the gentle hands that cradled the child Jesus. We ask you to make us more alive in our faith, more generous in your love, more trusting in your hope. Teach us to imitate Jesus as you did and always to follow him with your courage. Mother Mary, help us to become a people who hunger for justice and who burn with compassion for those who suffer in our midst. Make us a people who cherish and defend the dignity of every human person. Free us from all selfishness and self-interest, that we truly might be builders of the kingdom of God. Immaculate Mary, Help us to stand among the family of nations as a people of compassion, generosity, and peace. Make us a people of vision and courage who will gift this world with new life, new hope, and the unity for which your Son died. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who turn with confidence to you today. Amen. 
Let us pray together. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those who have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying God by your lives. Thanks be to God. And again, thank you for coming together here here this afternoon to celebrate the great mystery of the Eucharist, especially on this Memorial Day. As far as the reopening of the church, we're in uh, staging plans right now. We're meeting tomorrow evening with the with the committee to start, you know, uh, uh, finalizing the various preparations that need to be done. So be patient with us, and uh, uh, before before you know, we'll all be here together celebrating around this altar as a community of faith enlivened by the Eucharist. Have a blessed and holy day. <laughs>